Hey, I'm in the middle of um, Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia, and I've trekked it about 20 minutes from my hotel to a place here. Pretty much the most famous shopping place, markets they are, they're called Central Markets. All everyone talks about here, every tuk-tuk driver's like, I'll take you to the Central Markets. Have you been to the Central Markets? <laughs> when you get off, every, when you see things on the board for tourists, Central Markets, you must try Central Markets. So apparently they're full pumping. You know, a lot of like actual real designer stuff and real brands that you wear are made in Cambodia. And because of that, they have the factories here to make a lot of that high quality stuff. And because of that, they make here apparently some of the highest quality fake designer, fake brand, not just designer, but just brands in general. Nike added that's this and that this and that so yeah and when I heard that I thought yeah you know what you know how many brands I've actually bought and opened them up and found out that they are made in Cambodia I've got some money in my pocket I got like a thousand US oh look straight away bro look boss Versace straight off the bat and we're, we're only at the front this stuff looks mad you know how you have to be that sort of like you know, in your head you're interested, but you can't project that you're interested because then they saw me on. They're like, yeah, come here, I'll show you. I tried this on, trust me. I've got all these colors. They grab your arm and drag you somewhere. So it's like, <laughs> when we find something cool, I mean, you got to stay away from it and you just got to be like, oh, but look, bro, see, this is true. We're not even in yet and there is legit Gucci, Balenciaga, Versace, everything. 3D print stuff, look. Oh, I hate that putrid brand. Yuck. Uh, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just trying to touch that um, 3D print, but... Bro, legit, this stuff here looks mad. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a designer person whatsoever. You just know that. I'm sorry with ASICs, Under Armour, this and that. It doesn't impress me, Gucci and shit, but it's just interesting because I know that there's good few thousand of you watching that have spent a lot of money on this stuff and so to know that I'm in a place where a lot of it's made and they sell it in markets for potentially 20 US dollars yeah it's it's worth a look isn't it oh they're mad see as soon as I touched them matey started walking towards me <laughs> as soon as I touched them so this is the main entrance to put in perspective that's the main entrance and these are just external stores bro there's so much even just the outside of it if, if lanes are like this it's gonna take us a full hour to get through just these it's gonna be hard for me to buy this stuff like you may think like oh you should buy it well what, what am i gonna do with it when i bought the stuff in the in the philippines like, there were kids everywhere and i thought bro like you know what i mean i'll give it to them but there's just like no here where i am there's just no there's no kids there's no poor kids walking around there's no one begging for money it says like what am i gonna do with it everyone's sweet here like everyone looks decent they've all got nice shoes on on clothes at least i had an objective for in the in the manila to do with it but here i don't even want to wear the real designer let alone the fake like you know what i mean so we'll buy some stuff but i'm not going to be buying that for the sake of it we can just look at it you get what i'm saying but i will ask how much stuff costs otherwise what's the point right <laughs> hello how much are these t-shirts ten dollars nice nice that's a pretty cool bag. That's pretty cool. They got some Maxis here, bro. Look. I've never seen these Air Max before. Bro, they feel real. Well, how much are the Air Max? How much are Air Max? 25. 25? Yeah. Bro, they're only 25 dollars, lad. These are full legit, I'm telling you. Ooh, the sock around here. That's proper air bubble. It's like real air bubble. Bro, that's like a silk shirt, man. How much are all these shirts, boss? 55. 55, yeah. And for example, at the back here, like the, these print ones. 65. 
65 55 i'm 90 sure they were either silk or really really soft cotton they felt mad but to be honest that's considerably dearer the other one was what 10 and then it jumped to 55 and 65 but then again i don't know her may I don't know nothing about that stuff, lad. Oh, look at the bags here, lad. Should I get my missus a bag? I'm sure she'll be impressed. I'm trying to tell her it's all right to have... You see, when I buy her handbags and stuff like that, I bought her a couple in Rome and Switzerland, and like every one of those bags is like four grand. And she just gets around keys, lipstick, half a chewing gum in them. I'm like, why don't you have a couple fake ones and they can be your freshers and you can just whatever. And if anyone says anything, you say, mate, I've got the real versions at home i'm just not stupid true or not i feel like doing the same thing with watches because i don't wear my watches the cheaper one is my fresher watch is like six and a half grand and even that like you know what i mean so sometimes i feel like buying a fake britling for like 300 bucks and i can just <laughs> go to the gym in a if someone says something i said like don't make me rock up with the real one anyway first world problems hey what i'm carrying on about Remember, I had this exact bag and I full set it on fire, lad. <laughs> Dramatic, eh? <laughs> I bought it in Amsterdam for 1800, 1300, 1300, yeah, 1300. I wonder how much I bought. I'm gonna ask how much I bought you. Excuse me, how much is it? How much is that? 18. Oh, yeah, nice. Bro, it's 18. That's like really cheap. I think that's really cheap, <laughs> 18. I expected her to say like 40. You know what I mean? Um, but I didn't want to, I didn't want her to hear me say that because next next tourist that comes by, I'm wrecking it for them because she'll say 45. <laughs> 18 lad, like that, I don't know, That to me that's cheap. Look at that Prada. The Prada. How much are these Prada bags? Uh, 15. 15? Yeah. Nice, nice. Bro, there's so much mad stuff here. Side bags, the large bag, women's handbags, wallets, for coins. I'm gonna get something here because I'm filming her whole shop and I feel bad. You know what, I'd rock that. I'd rock a Lacoste wallet, fake or not. I'd rock that, that's usable to me. How much are these? Ten. Ten? I'll, I'll rock that. Because like it's like everything here is like forty dollars for that the Louis bag and stuff like that. It's all good, but like what am I gonna do with it? All jokes aside, if I gave it to my wife, she'd launch it, lad. I got that. I'll put the money in it actually. Bro, there's so many of these stores, lad. So many. Look. Well, bro, look at that. Oh yeah, North Face, they're twenty dollar ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sir, yeah. Yeah. Mont Blanc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm getting bombed by her, lad. She's bombing me, lad. I have to. I have to move on. Sorry. North Face. How much is that one? Fifteen. Fifteen dollars. I said good price. What is that? Tell me what's this? Yeah, yeah. You put the bell. Oh, money bell? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get one. I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to get one. How different color? Black color. This, li this little one? Yeah. I like that. That one's fifteen, you said. That's fifteen, you said? Yeah, yeah, I said 15. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I'll get that. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you take this one? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh, no, I'll put it in my bag. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. And this one more, sir? No, I, I don't, I don't want that. I don't, I don't need it. No, thank you. It's enough, yeah. One more, I sell cheap. No, I don't need I it. I only five dollars, okay. You do 20, okay, all. Yeah, I'll take it for I'll yeah, take it and you, you can have it. You, you know what? Here, here, here. Huh? You can keep this and you keep the $5 huh? too, okay? Oh. We have both of them. <laughs> I got that native, bro. She might as well just keep it. 
She was bustling for the she was bustling for the the extra five dollars, you know what I mean? For that little money bill. I was like, I don't need a money bill, bro. Like if I was to wear this around, like say for the rest of Asia, I wouldn't feel cringe because it's not like Louis Vuitton or Gucci or something cringe, do you know what I mean? It's a North Face from the markets, whatever. I'll wear it and then I'll launch it at the airport on the way back to Australia. I've been to fake markets before. This shit's on all of them. There is so much of everything and they're all good quality and it's cheap, lad. It's like I've been to places that are called fake markets and there's like three places and but here it's just pumping lad. Like look at this, just this store. Just this. That's one of like 50 we've walked past. Like just look at that. Like if you're into this stuff, bro, you would froth here. I'm not gonna pretend I'm the connoisseur and the detector of fakeness, but to me, I wouldn't have a, a clue. Especially see the Lacoste wallet I bought. I don't know, but that someone's got a real whatever, bro. Brother, there's every single handbag that those women like. Those women, you women. Sorry, I didn't mean that to be misogynist. There's all the handbags you women like. It's up there, mate. Get over it. <laughs> oh, look at all the mad hats, lad. How much are these hats? Fifteen. Well, that's dearer than Australia. Well, it's not dearer than Australia, but for a fake hat, that's ridiculously dear. That's 25 Australian dollars. I don't know. Considering that they're selling Louis bags for 40, uh, she definitely overreached there and turned me off. Do you know what I mean? I'm not trying to walk around here being a tight ass or anything, but yeah, you can't be selling me uh, leather Lacoste wallets for 10 and handbags for 40 and stuff and then say 15 for a fake cotton hat 15 us by the way no way bro see i like when prices are just on things it's just so much better and you know like a lot of people don't know like i understand if you put a price on something it takes away your wiggle room to overcharge people like I understand that but I'm telling you the peace of mind from the shopper like see you're walking through all of this stuff I'm telling you I'm talking like the average consumer and you're looking at things and you just think like I'm not even asking or it's, it's just so much of a hassle but when you walk past something and you see the price like that you think like in my head like it if I was here to actually buy shirts, I would think, bro, these are $5 each. Watch me buy 10 of them because I know what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Zara. Oh, Lacoste shirts. Louis Vuittons. Bro, this rack has everything from Lacoste, Christian Dior, Zara, Louis Vuitton. I, I don't know, bro. It, it, it's pretty... It's pretty, I know it doesn't translate through the video, but it feels just like, it feels like a Nike shirt. It feels like an Adidas shirt. Like, it feels as good as shirts you'd buy from Rebel Sport, you know what I mean? And let's be real, are they any worse than Louis Vuitton shirts and that? They're not, bro, it's the same. In this uh, middle aisle, we're still not inside, by the way. I don't know what inside is, but... In these middle aisles, like really like touristy stuff, like um, shirts that say Cambodia and like Buddha statues and stuff like that. We were just in that side that whole time then. We're going this side. Oh look, it's opened up into an area here that seems to be like more shoe orientated. Shoe stores, more shoe stores around. All right, now we're getting into the more um, like mainstream shoes, like Jordans and stuff. How much are Jordans like that? Thirty-seven. 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 Thirty-seven dollars for Jordans. You could probably get a lower lad. Like, I just seen a pair of Kayanos, but the what? I didn't think they had a six here, bro. Huh? Kayano twenty nines, lad. All, all Jordans up there, Air Forces. 
I can see Tien's there, but I don't think they'll have much size. What if I rock a, what if I get a pair of snake fade Tienikins and just full rock them? I think I have six gels here too. Kayano 27s. How much are six like this? Uh, $48. $48. I don't know because the the, the Jordans up there were 37 so I don't know if ASICs are supposed to be dearer here or not. The ends, lad. I know you're going to love this. How much are Nikes uh, like this? 40 What size do you go up to? I have a big size. It's uh, US 14. 11. The biggest is US 11. I'm 14. Every store, US 11 biggest. Uh, I have this one. Size 12. 12? Yeah. Nah, 12. Very small. Alright, if you got a big foot, do not think of coming to buy shoes. I was legit, genuinely gonna buy those. It would have been the funniest thing the blue TNs or white ones and rock them around and make jokes about how much I hate TNs. But the biggest size was 11 and then there was one other pair the size was 12. it's not even close lad i'll ask one more place just in case it might just be there but it has to be a shoe i'm gonna wear shoes like a spastic like jordans or something if i'm slumming over here snocking ordens like a full snaska boy 80 maze you know how the full snorians and snap snap and knees and that's not an basketball lad and you go, I'd like Penilch, brah. You're not from California, lad. Up it, lad. Me, bros, just keep it full. Itty, ittykins, lad. Itty, ittykins. Even over here in the snake arcades and that, I'm still snocking the full snake, full Kayanos and that. But then again, if I can't, I can't. I'm getting a shoe regardless, mate. All of that was out the window, wasn't it? I'll go ask that original store that I looked at. What's the biggest size you have in general? 13? Can I fit in a 13? I'm only gonna wear them for an hour. I think I can squeeze into a 13 or try it. You have no 14. No 14, anything. Okay. 13. 13. How much are those Jordans again? 30. I swear it's getting dearer since last time I asked. I swear before you said 37, 10 minutes ago. What's that one? 40. I don't know the quality, I don't know the difference. As you're saying, see this one's, this one, the red one's 40 and the, the blue one's 50. But I swear last time I asked, she said 37. Let me try it. Because I'm size 14, that's 13. You know what I think they, uh, the price is dictated on? Your interest level. Do you see how the first time I came over real vague, uh, like that? 37. And then I come over this time, listen, have you got any 14s I want to get? Son, oh yeah, 50. <laughs> it's hot as in here, bruh. Look at this. Um, if I took my bag off and showed you my back, I don't know, I haven't seen it. Is it sweaty? It's probably soaked, eh? It's so hot in here, lad. That's a 13? One, three? I'll try it on. I'll try it on, lad. On this little stool, I'm sitting on, lad. Little stool, lad. That's pretty small. I'm gonna buy it just because they went through the hassle of getting it and then I'll walk around and I'm gonna I'll come and give it back to them but I'll buy it. 50? Bro, it's so small. It's it's hurting. Look at compared to my other shoe look. <laughs> look at the difference. Yeah. 50. Yeah. yeah. Alright lads, we've got them, we got them on, brother. I feel like the biggest onkers, brother. Let's cut. <laughs> Look how small they are, lad. <laughs> look how small they are. Just look at them compared to my calves, lad. I hope no one judges me, lad. Stop judging me. Stop. <laughs> oh, we'll see how long I last. The military bloke just walked past. He looked straight at my shoes and looked at my head. I don't know, bro. When I wear Nikes, lad, I just feel so embarrassed. I don't know why. And these types are, are the, the, the pinnacle of embarrassment, lad. Like, at least if I wore like those, like Nike shocks, I'd cop. I can't give you a judgment how these feel because I have A, never worn a pair of these before. B, they're too small for me, so they're 
not gonna feel good no matter what and C every single pair of Nikes I've ever worn have never felt good so like what am I gonna exactly be judging this on I'm just gonna wear them like that's it judge them on style let me yeah, I do. I do want a coconut, actually. Yes, please. I yes. forgot what the local currency is called, but this is a twenty thousand dollar note. Four thousand is like one US, so five thousand is like a dollar twenty-five. Thank you. Thank you. Yum. I'll tell you something. I forgot that I had these freaky space shoes on, so that's a good sign. They're not annoying me too much. I didn't didn't even remember that I had them on. Is that real gold? That is real. Oh, all right, yeah. I thought it, yeah, because it looked real. I thought it's supposed to be fake. Oh, well, lad, look what we've come into. This is the section I'm talking about, lad. The acoustics in here are unbelievable. How much is our Rolex? Oh, oh no no like a Britling. Like their Britling um chronometer like for uh yeah like the one down? Oh yeah yeah like that for example. This is actually the version of my actual watch. Look. That's that's my actual that's the actual watch I bought in Switzerland. How much how much is that? It's one sixty-five. Okay. What about if I bought the fake version? of my real watch and then you would never know <laughs> true i could wear it everywhere and you would never know you would be like that's your fake i'll be like man i'll give you a head bump, but that's the real one you want to see the number two i can see a difference in it i'm not telling you though i can see uh like um a positioning difference Sorry? yeah how much can you do it like, I, I, I want it, but it's like, for me, it's honestly, it's like a, a joke to wear it. What can you do it for? 50, I'll buy it. 50, I'll buy it. 50, I'll buy it. Nice and easy, 50, I'll buy it. I'll buy it for 50. Yeah, that, that exact one there. Can you take the plastic off? Yeah. So I want to wear it. But they got every watch here, look. IWC, Cartier, Omega, Montblanc, Petit Philippe. I can't believe I found the ex my exact watch. That's so good. Oh, it fits good. Yeah, it fits good. Yeah, that lad. I got the bodgy version of my real watch. How mad's that? You know what? It's pretty good. I'll tell you one thing. It sounds different. It sounds very different. Just the noise that, that my watch makes, this was making a different noise straight out. Like looking at it, that's written different. Like the symbols there are different. Spinning it is very different. Very, look at this, like a turntable. My watch that is so tight, it's so tight that I actually don't like turning it on my real watch. Because it's just like, bro, am I gonna break something? But it moves, it's just like it sucked, like, like full air vacuum there. So I just don't turn it. I tried to turn it once, I turned it a bit, and I thought, bro, I'm just leaving it. That's a major difference, but look, appearance wise, it's so good, bro. Oh, let's test if what the buttons do, if the buttons do anything. Oh, there's no way the timer works. I pressed it again, it stopped. The red one, and if I press this, it shoots back to the 12. Look, boom, bro, that's pretty good. The little dials in the middle, the little, the the three little circles, the current, the chronom chronometers, them they're working. The date works, like, but it's just that was very impressive that the timer actually works, the start and the stop, and the reset it flicks around. I may never wear my real Britling again. Why would I when I've got this? I'll keep that scratch free and it's box in my, in, 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 in my safe in, in my room. Omegas, Rolexes, Oromor, Pegua, or I don't know how. How do you say that one? Oromor, Peguet. That's it. Oromor, Peguet. 
Oh, I've got that watch too. That's my other watch. That Carrera, see that that tag you were there under my on top of my thumb. That that all black face with red dial tag you were Carrera. I'm not gonna get a fake of that. Relax, brother. In the middle seems to be like all watches, just straight out. All fake watches, every watch you can think of. I can see down the end of this aisle like fruit, and then it just made me think. I haven't seen any food here. I wonder if Central Markets has a food section. All right, well this end has a whole live seafood slash vegetable market part on it. Not a single person here has had an issue whatsoever with me filming in the slightest no matter what it is i go up to their store and just like whatever and just point a camera straight at their stuff and they just don't care i know i said this before but bro in the philippines they were just carrying on like just unnecessarily even if i'm like an oil like this and like i'll walk into it and then someone like 15 meters behind you just hear this little voice hey camera no camera here take that and it's Relax, bro. And I'm telling bro, I'm filming my face. Leave me alone. But that's been a recurring theme about with a lot of things in Cambodia. They just don't. They're just so easy going, bro. You know what? A little spray, lad. What am I getting? A little spray. How much are sprays? Fifteen. Get the Versace, you reckon? Blue water, blue shiner. I'll buy and I'll buy. I'll, I'll, I'll buy this Versace. Yeah, fifteen. I get that. I get that. I need a spray. All right, let's ouch. We got the Versace slide. Let's test it out, bruh. The box looks like faded. The image doesn't looks nowhere near as contrasted or vibrant as it's supposed to be. It's got the old Versace lid. You know, the glass is done all right. It's got the the face like glass molded properly. I know what this one's supposed to smell like. I don't own it, but I know what it's supposed to smell like. Oh, lad. Is that real? Bro. That smells exactly what it's supposed to smell like. I do this all the time, 35 sprays, real or not, so I don't know, until my 30th spray I can't tell. It smells the same, but it's very weak. It smells how it's supposed to smell. Like, I, I would say 90% accurate, but it's very weak. I can't smell it already, but I'm like that with spray sprays. I can't smell it whatsoever. Even if I try to smell on my shirt, like if I try to sm I can't smell it. I can't smell it whatsoever. I got my shirt washed at the motel. Uh, you know, they wash it for you and it comes all nice and it, and it smells so strong of fabric softener. And that's what I smell now still, the fabric softener from the motel washing it a few days ago. Um, and I don't smell the, the spray, so. It looks the part, it's, it's, it, the whole facade is accurate, the bottle's good, the box is decent, um, the smell is accurate, uh, but it's just water, it's just water. What they got here, like buttons, right, knuckle dusters, extendable buttons, knuckle dusters, oh they got cool shit here, like lighters, they got a whole bunch of knives. Butterfly knives. If you didn't say it, if I had to get blurred, you know the, the butterfly knives, flick knives, mad ones. That's what I want, brother. I want a laser. I forgot about you, my childhood best friend. Hey, can I see the, you know the lasers? 
the laser. Which one is, is your best one? <laughs> Look at this. Look at that, it burns it. Wow. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I'll buy this. 50? Yeah, yeah I'll buy it. Buy right, it, burn stuff, lad. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Oh, lad. I've got that blue laser that burns shit, lad. What are you talking about, lad? I want to shoot at the camera. Oh, lad, what? Look at this. That's that lens. Oh. And that's it, brother. That's it. We're getting around and shooting stuff like that. Hey, I'm so jaded. I love how stuff like that is just like legal in the, in the store. What is that taser? Is this a taser? Yes. Can I see it? They got full tasers here, lad. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bro. This uh, in Cambodia, it's okay. <laughs> if it, if it, I go to jail for this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I want to get it, but I'm scared if I get it, I'll go to the front and the police will arrest me, lad. It's good, but I can't buy it, because I go to jail. Far out, brother. Full blown. That's a full high power taser, just here, like that. Far out. Thank you, thank you. Look at the weapons they got here, lad. Extendable bats, everything. just a full section of semi-lethal weapons back there, brother. I like how when I asked her, is this taser allowed? But yeah, loud it was. Is this allowed in Cambodia? And she just goes, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, bro. Why in the sugar cane trees? Thank you. There's like a like an old dude behind me. When I was putting the Jordans on, because I was putting the Jordans on just there, you know, we just walked past that, and he's like um, like a little little old guy. I think he has like limbs missing, which is like a thing here. Can you see him? See him there? Or he's some limb deformed? I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I feel bad. I'm gonna flick him a hundred hundred US. He'll be wrapped. There you go, brother. Yeah, they're spinning out. What did I give him? Yeah, the other bloke went to check what I gave him. <laughs> he goes, I seen that other bloke jump up straight away. Like, I swear he just gave him American money. <laughs> right, let's try this sugar cane. Bro, look how big it is. Look at the size of it. Oh, it's sugar cane and lime. Oh, that's hectic. Yes. Oh, that was hectic. I just, sorry, I just turned the camera on and sat there and polished it for like 10 minutes and recuperated. Bro, that's the... Hey, how are you? No, thank you. That's Central Markets in Cambodia. Bro, they're hectic, lad. I wish that was Paddy's Markets in Sydney. I'll be there every day, lad. Like that, just making a noise I'd like. Now for my final trick is to try to burn a hole in the Air Max with my new lasers. The Air Jordans, lad. I'm not wearing these anymore. I'll be honest with you, they feel all right, bro. If you into this shoe, I don't know, I think you'd like them, bro. Look. I'll give you a closer look at them again. Oh. Yes, I wear no-show socks, mate. <laughs> They're called sockets. That's, that's the Jordans we got. Even the sole looks sweet. They look pretty good, lad. They're the Jordans. That's the blue laser. 
Oh, we got a Lacoste wallet. I like that. That's some. Oh, the watch. Look at the watch. I forgot. <laughs> Look at the watch, lad. That's proper, lad. Battery operated, obviously. Imagine it was automatic. No, it's battery operated. The North Face bag. I forgot how much that was. We haven't opened it up, actually. Yeah. Yeah, not bad, not bad. One last thing was that wallet. But, bro, there was so much. There was every single thing there is. There was every single handbag, belt, like wallet, uh, man bag, watch, semi-lethal weapon. <laughs> I don't want to burn the shoes, but look, at the end of the day, first of all, there's no, like, homeless people, poor people around here like the Philippines. I'm not going to walk up to people in full clothes on a day out to the markets giving them w shoes that for all they know are, are worn well they are worn that's the first thing so i'm not doing that um the second thing is nobody in cambodia is gonna fit them let's be real <laughs> they had to hunt to get me 13 us who's gonna fit them i have to wait for some european tourist and they're the last person that needs a charity pair of shoes true so i'm burning a hole in them you can wake up to yourself They're smoking, they're smoking, look. Didn't go through it. Let's try it on a darker area, because white's reflective. I think it works better on darker colors. Yeah, look at that, instantly. <laughs> I'm not sitting there any longer, wrong me for half an hour. You'll only use one of these if you're in a country where it's legal, which is here, and um, you be sensible with it. Do not ever shoot at anybody. Do not ever put on your skin. <laughs> Laters, that's the central market.